Hello everybody, how's it going? Bill here from UFO Files. Hope you guys are fantastic, hope you're safe, hope you're well, hope you're following the procedures of the quarantine, the pandemic. So it's uh, uh, been a, uh, a long time. How are you? Let me know in the chat. Yeah, you good? Yeah, oh, I'm good, yeah, yeah, I'm good, yeah. I'm definitely better, I should say that. So, I'm gonna throw us right into the deep end here and we've got some uh, unusual piece of footage that I'd like to talk about. But before we get started with this particular video, we need to do a call to arms, but not any sort of arms, a call to this magical subscriber button. What I need you to do is, firstly, run to the kitchen. Take a beverage, what, glass or water maybe? Obviously you're a person of taste, a person of manner, maybe a cup of tea, may I help, maybe a cup of coffee, but I need you to run to the kitchen, make yourself a cup of coffee. Press play on the video again if you haven't already. <laughs> and maybe drop a sub and hit the notification bell. And what say we get into today's video? As we reach the halfway point of 2020, UFO sightings, strange aerial phenomena, and even apparent alien entities captured on Google Earth have all surfaced in the month that is June. Indeed, while the planet appears to be paralyzed in terms of movement and the people are economically due to the obvious events of 2020. UFOs and the occupants appear to continue much the same as they always have done. Might it be that the events of currently taking place all over our planet are a specific interest to those apparent visitors from another world? Or might be these aliens entities simply be continuing on with whatever mission has seamlessly brought them to our neck of their cosmic world? We will start however with a sighting of an apparent triangle craft that was captured at the very end of May in New Jersey. Although the video was shot in the evening of the 31st of May, footage of a triangle object of the skies of Winslow, Camerdan County in New Jersey, did not appear online until the first week of June. The object was noticed and filmed around 9.40pm according to the few details that are available. The footage itself shows clearly three dots on a triangle formation moving in the night sky. Such footage and photographs, at least according to the many researchers and witnesses, are likely that the, likely the underside lights of a triangle object. These objects when seen in lighter skies are usually dark black in colour and so would easily blend into such dark skies. However guys, some researchers suggest that these crafts are very much an extraterrestrial origin and what's more, at least according to Scott Waring, that they are likely cloaking technology in order to observe our movements and actions. Waring would then state that the lights might actually prove to Windows that it's such extraterrestrial pilots that could observe what is happening below. He would however also state that the lights could be part of an advanced propulsion system. The footage is certainly intriguing, with one viewer claiming that they had witnessed the exact same thing two days previously on the 29th of May on the other side of the Atlantic in Scotland. One of these orbs starts to flicker and then goes out, also followed closely by a second one a few seconds later. At first glance I was thinking maybe this was some sort of lanterns, maybe, but they don't really look anything like lanterns, especially the way they move in the sky. I also put a picture on screen as for a comparison what Chinese lanterns would then look like compared to what we're here watching. So just hopefully you can see the difference. There's also no sound to the clip sadly, but at the start you can see the recording was taken in some sort of a parking lot. It's hard to explain what exactly these could be, but of course let me know in the comments of your thoughts. I would really be interested what these could be. Do you believe we're looking at here a potential TR3B sighting with cloaking technology? Or is this more easily explained? Maybe some bright orbs, maybe something reflecting off the moon hitting these metallic objects. Hundreds of orbs over Bensia, California, 18th of June. During the early evening of 18th of June in Bensia in California, an entire family witnessed strange orbs flying overhead. While there were only several to begin with, in several minutes witnesses would guess that there are a hundred or so strange glowing ball shaped objects were overhead. The footage is intriguing, not least due to the obvious concern in the voice of the witness, who are obnoxiously unveiled by what they're seeing. Also, while there might prove to be an unreasonable explanation of what 
people might have viewed in the footage is so-called a fleet of UFOs. The witness themselves appear genuine. This is viewed the objects through the binoculars. They would then claim they could see an elonged object hanging down from the centre of them. It would eventually move to the east and then out of sight. In my own opinion, this one is a little bit hard to explain. The cameraman does a really bad job and he seems to be really like drunk with his hectic movements with the camera. But once we get a clear image here, we zoom in and just for a few seconds we can see maybe 30 to 40 of them. I don't think there's definitely a hundred. By all means there is a lot I haven't sat here and counted. I, the hundred is definitely not out there because I just don't think so. Definitely 30 or 40 though. I don't see them moving in the footage but then again it's really hard to tell. I'm going to say um, like it's really hard to tell if they was moving in, instead of just hovering there. Uh, due to the hectic camera angle, but I also don't think there was 100, definitely 30 or 40, but as I state already, it's very hard to tell due to the hectic movements of the camera. In the video we hear one of, it sounds like one of the boys said, it looks like a constellation of some kind, for sure. Um, they are bright in the sky, maybe they could be some sort of a um, satellites, but they seem to be pretty close together towards, I mean they seem to be pretty close together. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain that these are definitely not drones. Not at the altitude, they're flying insanely high. You know, the camera itself struggles to zoom in on them. You can also hear them saying, what the heck? And they seem to be baffled and confused, just like me at the moment. But I'm going to leave this open to you guys, my keen eyed viewers. Is this something that we could definitely um, put a name to these sort of bright orb like objects? Is this a just basically a light phenomenon? Please let me know in the comments below. So um, I guess uh, our last piece of footage is something on, uh, it's more of a panic in Brazil and I was, I was following this um, a little bit I was and uh, trying to get some details but honestly it's, there's not really much available and uh, if you haven't tell I really don't really speak Brazilian so I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but if there's anyone out there that does um, speak Brazil I will, uh, or speak, speak Brazilian, I will, uh, I'd love to get a translation on this <clears throat> but the story goes. Glowing object sets off panic in Brazil on the 18th of May. After the footage was captured in New Mexico, multiple residents of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil witnessed several glowing objects moving very propulsively in the night sky. At one point the lights appeared to be a triangle shape. The sighting comes only one week after a similar incident in the county again with multiple witnesses Brazil has a long history with UFOs. With several well-known cases going back decades, it would appear that the recent sightings have created a quiet stir among population. With some describing the atmosphere as being similar to a panic and then they were scared and frightened. You can see though in this piece of footage here that the person recording this is some sort of a panic. You can hear the woman screaming in the background or at least shouting. At the sky there's, a clear, there's at least three of these particular objects but one of them um, slowly starts to disappear. The other one starts to flicker multiple colours, white, then blue. At the end of the video we get a close-up on one of these objects. It looks circular with a bright and blue and white in the middle section. It starts to dim and then finally goes red. If we slow down though the footage and zoom in quite a bit on this blue circular object, you can make out um, something is definitely pulsing from the middle section of this object. Could this potentially be a new sort of an alien aircraft or back engineered aircraft? Or maybe is it something more down to earth? Something that can be easily explained. As always, I leave this one open to you, my keen eyed viewers, in the comments. I'm slowly, slowly, guys, coming back to YouTube. It's very difficult for me right now to. Um, to focus on certain stuff, so I really hope you appreciate it. If you've watched my last video, you'd understand why. I've at least been following, I guess, the channel for a while, you'd understand, I guess, the reason why. Um, but I really have missed you guys, and it's really nice just to open the flop and talk, you know, and have some feedback. Um, if you guys want to um, f um, follow me, guys, uh, I'll leave my Facebook and Twitter in the comments and stuff. It'd be nice to, you know, hear your voices and stuff. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please make sure to drop a like and a share on the way out. Hell, if you're new on here, why not subscribe and hit the bell icon? As always, stay safe, stay awesome. And I will see you in the next one. All right, kick back, relax, and grab yourself a beverage. A hop if you want to just pass through my liver. It's the evidence, as they say, is in the pudding. So show me the money like my name is Cuba Gooding. It ain't fool's gold.